how do we get the trigonometric ratios of angles between 0 degrees and 360 watt now degrees class so in this video we are going to be doing justice to that by using what we call the four quadrants okay this is the first quadrant this is the second quadrant this is the third quadrant and this is our what now fourth quadrant and we use an acronym that we call ASTC which implies all students take co okay this thing is telling us that in the first quadrant all of the ratio must be positive meaning we must have positive sign in the first quadrant we must have positive cause in the first quadrant and we must have positive what now tan in the first quadrant now s which is the first word second quadrant is saying that it is only sign that must be positive in the second word now quadrant meaning one sign is positive our cause will be negative and our time will be what now negative what is the formula used in the second quadrant it is 180 okay minus what now minus theta okay so here we have what 180 minus what minus theta and here we have what now 180 minus what now minus theta okay now the angle that are obtainable in the second quadrant should be what now 90 is less than what now theta and theta is what now less than what now 180 what now degrees which implies angles that are found in the second quadrant must be greater than what now 90 degrees okay but less than what now 180 what now degrees i repeat angles that we can find in the second quadrant class must be greater than 90 degrees but less than what now 180 degrees why angles that can be found in the first quadrant must be greater than what now is zero degrees but less than what now 90 what now degrees okay let's go to the top quadrant in the top quadrant we have what now t okay us then take okay which implies our tangent only must be positive in the third what now quadrant are you with me in class now what are the values of angles that we can found in the third quadrant our theta which is the angle must be greater than what now 180 degrees but less than what now 270 what now degrees what is the formula in the third quadrant the formula is theta minus what now 180 what now degrees okay we have theta minus what 180 degrees okay and we have what now theta minus what 180 what now degrees so this is the formula used to calculate what now angles that are found in the what now the third what the third quadrant meaning our sign is negative in what now third quadrant our cosine is negative in what now third quadrant our tangent is what now positive in third what now quadrant using what now a s t what now t c now this c stands for what now cosine meaning fourth quadrant is taking what now c okay which implies only cosine must be positive in the fourth what now quadrant are you with me in class you must take note of all this analysis you must know which of the ratios that must be positive in any of what now of the quadrant. So each of these quadrant, all of them are what now positive in the what now first quadrant. It is only sign that is positive in the what now second quadrant, and it's only what now tangent that must be what now positive in the what now in the third quadrant. And yet it's only cosine that must be what now positive in the fourth quadrant. Plus. What is now the formula used in the fourth quadrant? Here we have what now? Our 360 degrees minus what now? Minus theta, okay? 360 degrees minus what now? Theta. We have 360 degrees minus what now? Minus theta. So we are saying these are the what now? These are the formats used to create the trigonometric ratios of angles found between 0 degrees and 360 what now? Degrees. I repeat, class. We use ASTC, okay, which we call the what now? The acronym. A means what now? First quadrant. What happened to all the ratios in the first quadrant? They are all positive in the first quadrant. And what is the nature of angle that we can found in the first quadrant? That angle must be what now? Greater than what now? Is zero. But less than what now? 90 what now? Degrees. Let's go to what now? S. S is the what now? Second quadrant. This S stands for what now? Sign. It means it is only sign. That must be positive in the second word now. Quadrant. Are you with me, class? Other ratios must be what now? Negative. Our cosine is negative. Our tan is what now? Negative. What is the nature 
of the angle that we can find in the what now? Second quadrant. That angle must be greater than what now? 90 degrees, but less than what now? 180 what now degrees. Are you with me, class? Now, third quadrant means for T, tangent, it is only tangent that must be positive in the third quadrant, okay? Which implies sine must be negative, because sine must be what now? Negative, okay? Now, what is the nature of the angle that we can find in the third quadrant? That angle, theta, must be greater than what now? 180 degrees, but less than what now? 270 what now degrees. And the fourth quadrant means it's only what now? Cosine, that must be what now? Positive, which implies sine must be negative, tan 2 must be what now? Negative. Are you with me? What is the nature of the angle that we can find in the fourth quadrant? That angle, which is theta, must be greater than what now? 270 degrees, but less than what now? 360 what now? Are you with me that? But greater than what now? 360 what now degrees, okay? So we have some questions here to be solved. We have to evaluate cos 120 degrees. Now, the first question you ask yourself is, 120 degrees, where can you find 120 degrees? 120 degrees can be found in which quadrant? Second what now? Are you with me? Second quadrant. So, what is the nature of cosine in the second quadrant? Cosine is what now? Negative. And what is the formula? 180 minus what now? Theta. What is our theta? Our theta is what now? 120 what now? Are you with me, class? Theta is what? 120 what now? Degrees. So, let's solve this, okay? Let's solve this. So, so we have what now? And what? Cos 120 degrees. So we have cos what now? 120 what now? Degrees. So our cosine must be what now? Negative in the what now? Second quadrant. Because 120 is can be found in what now? In the second quadrant. Okay? So we have minus what now? Cos what now? 180. What's the formula? 180 minus theta. What that is what now? 120. So we have 180 minus what now? Minus 120 what now? Degrees. Are you with me? So this will give us what now? Minus what? Cos what now? Or 60 degrees. What is for 60 degrees? For 60 is equal to what now? So, 1 over what now? What about which is what? Is 0 0.5. Because for 60 equals what now? Sine 30. So, we have what? Minus what now? 1 over 2. Or, minus what now? Is 0 0.5. Okay? So, once you punch a calculator, the value of cos 120 will be equal to what now? Minus is 0 0.5. What now? 0.5. Let's take second question. Sine 240 degrees. Plus, where can we find 240? Look at this. Two values can be found in what now? In the third quadrant. Okay. What is the value of sine in the third quadrant? Sine must be what now? Negative. Okay. And what is the formula in the third quadrant? That is what now? Theta plus what now? Minus 180 degrees. And what about theta? What is what now? Two, four. Are you with me, class? It's two, four, zero, what now? Degrees. So we go to this piece. So we have second question. Second question. We have what now? Sine 240 degrees. So sine what now? 240 degrees. Give us what now? Negative sign, okay? Negative. Because third quadrant, sign must be what now? Must be negative in the what now? In the third quadrant. So we have minus what? Sign. What's the formula? Theta. What's our theta? 240. Minus what now? Minus 180 degrees, okay? So we have another value what now? Minus sign. 240 minus 180 will give us what now? 60 degrees. So we have some what now? 60 degrees. So what is what now? Sign 60 degrees. Sign 60 degrees is equal to what now? Cos 30 degrees. Which give us what now? Zero point. So we have what? Root what? Root 3 all over what now? All over 2. Okay? So, the value of sine 60 degrees is minus root 3 all over what now? All over 2. Are you with me? Root 3 over 2. Which is the same what now? Minus what now? 0 point what? A66 six, six what now? Is 0. Okay? If that we have what now? Minus root 3 over 2 all over what? Minus is 0 point 866 six what now? Is 0. So, let's take the third question. So, what do you have? In, you have what now? Tan 300. 300 can be found in which quadrant? In the what now? In the third quadrant, okay? And what's the value of tan in third quadrant? It must be what now? Must be what? 300 can be found in the fourth quadrant, sorry. 300 can be found in the what now? In the fourth quadrant. And what's the value of tan in the fourth quadrant? Tan must be what now? Negative in the what now? In the fourth quadrant, okay? So, 300 can be found in the fourth quadrant, okay? Not the third. 300 can be found in the what now? In the fourth quadrant. So, what do we have? Our tan must be what now? Negative, okay? In the fourth quadrant. So, we go... What is the formula in the fourth quadrant? 360 minus what? Minus theta. So we go into this one. Third question. Our tan what? Tan 300 will be equal to what now? Minus tan what now? 360. Okay. Minus what now? Minus theta. Our theta is what? 300. So here we have what now? Minus tan what now? 360 minus 300. That will give us what? Minus what? Tan what now? Tan 60 what? Tan 60 degrees. Are you with me? And when you push a calculator, tan 60 is what now? Boom. 0.732 okay as this is what now 1.732 so we have what minus 
1.73 what now? Two. Okay, using what now? Using capital. It's going to be what now? Negative value. So the last one is what? Time 135. Time 135. 135 can be found in which quadrant? Second quadrant. And what's the value of tan in the second quadrant? It must be what now? Negative. So we have what now? Minus tan. Are you with me? 135. That would be what now? 180 minus what? 135. That is the formula in the second what now? Quadrant. So what do we have here? Minus tan what now? Minus tan 45. Okay. And what is tan 45? That is what now? 1. So our answer is what now? Minus, minus 1. Plus, if you enjoyed this video, okay, give the video thumbs up. Comment in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.